heavyweight to step into action. And now for the seventh match. Tetsuya Mizuno, this is an interesting position to be in with a record of three and two. Getting ready to take on Kroka. Not so interesting. Very deadly, dangerous position. Not so much interesting. <laughs> this guy. Interesting, <laughs> interesting if you go back to the days where people actually like to see lions run out there in that den. <laughs> I know, really, I'm like, wow, this guy's in for... I always feel bad for every guy that signed the fight, but when Gable Gonzaga signed, signed the fight, Crow Cop, he didn't think it was interesting either. He just went out there and beat Crow Cop's butt. So anything is possible, especially when it comes to Crow Cop. You know, really, Mizuno, he's very young. He's only got three and two. Two subs, one KO. He's not really known for his great devastating knockout power, but he's got great judo, and everyone knows that Krokop is horrible on the ground. If you get him to the ground, you got a shot at submitting, whether he, whether he's on top of you or not. So you have to give Mizuno great credit because he does have a good submission game from his judo background. Gone for the longer shorts for the SC. Pro Cop, as Frank mentioned, losing to uh, Gonzaga. Now he is trying to stop the first two fight losing streak of his career. He had not lost since New Year's Eve 2005. That was a split decision to Mark Hunt until losing twice in a four month span. Lost to Congo. That was in UFC 75. That after losing to Gonzaga. Gabriel winning that one in UFC 70. So back-to-back -back losses for Krokop for the first time in his career. Great left straight punch. Incredible left head kick. At some point, you know you're getting kicked in the head by the left leg. When's it going to happen if you stay on your feet? No one knows him by his last name anyway, do they, Frank? Krokop. No, if you said, you know, if you told somebody that you're going to see uh, Mirko uh, uh, Filipovic, Filipovic, Povic, Filipovic, I think. Filipovic. Nobody said, yeah, I'm going to see Mir Mirko Filipovic fight. They'd be like, who? You tell him Krokop, like, oh, yeah, the guy in that heads, guy's head's in the third row. Let's see if he can get back on the winning track. He is a big favorite to do so here. Finally fighting somebody his own size. 
Always fights the heavyweight, but he's a light heavyweight. Nationally weighs about 220. Could make 205 if really dedicated to the diet. Mizuno staying right in there. Got in a little too close. And now Prokop goes to work. Oh, and this wow. one is probably going to end wow. about any second, and it does. Oh, jeez. He did a great thing earlier. I don't think he's going to replay it now. I'm going to try to, but they, he doesn't think he's tied up. He actually takes a half step back. He kicks him in the thigh with his left leg, tied up, which is a, very flexible, had great timing because he's going to catch him in the shin. But that was the beginning of the end because when he caught him in the thigh, all of a sudden he couldn't move. He couldn't move backward any further. Two in a row now after those two straight losses. And as we expected, this certainly was an easy one. You have to just give credit to Mizuno for not even trying to run away. Good block wow. in that knee. Gets caught with that right, with that left hand. A hook in the left hand came in right between the hands. Let me tell you, when you when I was sneaking a hit for real from a guy, a real kickboxer, like Kokop is, all of a sudden you realize that you're about to be in for a beating if you know how to stop the bleeding very quickly. 